Hello. You look puzzled. Perhaps I can help you on your quest. I would appreciate the help. What do you want to know? How did the princess become undead? Victor selected his accomplices carefully. One to control politics and the citizens. That was the Doge. One to scare and threaten the merchant lords. That was Hector. One to silently remove anyone who might be a threat. That was the assassins. And one full with youthful energy to hunt down and kill any that might still stand. That was Chiamaka. Do you know how to summon demons? <laughs> First, you need to protect yourself. You draw circles on the ground around you, and then light some candles, a very difficult ritual to perform. Then, you whisper an enchantment to protect yourself from harm. Normally what follows is the spell to call the demon. But Victor and his four allies didn't. They drew daggers, and they killed themselves while they were inside the protective circle. Do you understand what this means? Nobody had ever done such a stupid thing. But Victor knew what he was doing. After decades of study, he found a tiny gap in the cosmic rules and abused it. They were now dead, yet could not be touched by death. Undead. Death was not responsible for them anymore. No one was. At least, that's what they thought. That was before they found out about you. Do you know the secret of the Black Grimoire? I cannot tell you much about it for your own protection. Anyone who knows the full story inevitably loses their wit. <laughs> Do you see the Tree of Life? Its roots reach down into the Twilight World. And below that is another world. A place that's called the Abyss. From the Abyss, the Black Grimoire rose and found its way into our world. And as long as even a shadow of it remains in our world, we are in great danger. Demons from the other world can sense it, smell it. That is why Victor summoned them. You will have met them and might even had people call them lectors. For they were bred only for one purpose, to search for supernatural writings. Tell me about the Knight of the Blade. When the Doge began to abuse his power, which was almost immediately after he was elected, brave people rose to stand against him. After all, Venice was always a city of the free, and the people were unwilling to surrender their liberties without a fight. Things went well, and the resistance grew stronger, until the Doge found new allies. You know them. One by one, the resistance was picked off until there were only a tiny fraction remaining. One of them, a woman named Leora, tried to save what was left of the resistance by luring them into a trap. Victor had promised to spare them their lives if Leora would turn them in. But inevitably, he broke his promise. On the Night of the Blade, the resistance was slaughtered in a dark place below the city. And that was the bitter end of what was once a free and proud city. Farewell.
bring it all to an end, sister. It is your destiny. Welcome. Welcome to my land. Finally, you can see it in the light that it deserves. I did not think I'd live to see it blossom again. I will use my fighting skills to protect it as long as I live, and never leave it again. Thank you for all that you've done. I have taken up my profession as a fighting trainer again. I want to learn new ways to fight. I can teach you the strongest of combat skills. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Can you take me back to Venice? I can, and I will. Let's get on board the legendary dark ship. You did not need my hand this time. I feared I would miss another conversation with you. You came so far, and yet you couldn't prevent Victor from getting his hands on the book. He didn't take it. The book was destroyed. I burnt it myself. But don't you see? That book couldn't be destroyed by the most ferocious fire on this earth. All you did was erase its physical form. The Black Grimoire has a soul, and that soul lives on in the Twilight World. So all Victor needs to do now is reach into the Twilight World. And seize the words from there. If he finds a way to order them and to perform the final ritual, his hunger and corruption will consume you all. I'll just have to beat him to it. You have done well so far. I will help you as much as I can.
I'll do whatever it takes to find peace for my soul. No matter how things go from here, this will be the last time we meet. In this world, at least. I wouldn't be honest if I didn't say that I enjoyed our conversation. Will you admit that you have feelings for me after all? If I did, would it comfort you? It would, Father. You have earned my respect, that is all I shall say. It's more than I'd ever expected from you. There is no time to spare. You must enter the lair of evil and defeat the undead Archon. Be strong, my daughter. No offence meant, my dear Victor, but it is getting a bit uh, deserted in this palace, and we still haven't found out who she really is. It doesn't matter anymore. The Black Grimoire. It's been burnt. I guess we can kiss our eternal power goodbye then, my undead friend. You really are more stupid than you look, aren't you? All the time I've spent searching for this book, but I never knew where to look. Ah, you should search no more, my friend, for the book is gone for good. You fool. Don't you see? The Black Grimoire cannot be destroyed. It's not from this world, so it can't die in this world either. The idiots burnt it, so now its spirit shines like a beacon in the Twilight World. And now that I know where to look, that book will be mine. You want to take the book from the Twilight World? Not exactly. It needs to be read from the Twilight World. A very painful process, and slow, but it can be done. Speaking of which, my doge. I trust that you have received a proper education, including the power of reading the written word. Of course I do. Why do you ask? Wonderful. Most wonderful. It seems I was misguided. You're not entirely useless to me. W w what did you mean by painful? Do you wish to travel to Africa? No. Over there! Move it! Go and look!
customer. How nice! I'd like to see your goods. Welcome, special friend. Hello. Welcome, my friend. How can I help you? Show me your goods. Hello. What can I do for you? I need your healing powers. Let me cure you. What is it? I want to use the platform. Send the platform down! Yes? I want to use the platform.
Oh, how could all this happen? The princess was our guiding light, our hope, until she sought allies, false allies. Now she's a tool of the doge, and our country's cursed and abandoned, leaving us stranded here. Goodbye. Now you know what you have to do. Ooh, that looks good. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Welcome to my chapel. Sanctify a potion for me. Which health potions would you like to have sanctified? Welcome to my chapel. Sanctify a potion for me. Which health potions would you like to have sanctified?
That looks good. Oh, that looks good. Hmm, I don't know. What could it mean? He who read no books reads the first book. He who read the first book reads the fourth book. He who read the fourth book reads the third book. And he who read the third book peeks at the first book. Is that a riddle? Can you make any sense of it? Even I can't get my mind around it. Right, well, that settles it. The time has come to put a stop to this. Oh, that looks good. Mm, that looks good.
Oh, someone's been keeping herself busy. This time you found me. I'm as amazed as you are. You're growing so much stronger each day. One day, you'll need me no more. Don't say that. Maybe there's something you can do with this. Hmm, I don't know. No, I don't know. So, this is what's been haunting us all these years. One of the most sacred artifacts in existence. Brought here from a faraway place. He must have taken it from Constantinople. I will see to it that it is returned to them at once. To seal the tear in the fabric of our world. To you I am most grateful. You've lifted a dangerous curse. Now the net of the mask can again become what it once was. A place of knowledge. Our order will be forever grateful. Can you tell me more about the net of the mask? I'm afraid I cannot tell you much more, my dear. As we are a secret society. Our privacies are closely guarded and we take the freedom to study whatever we wish. Some years ago, our ancient order focused on the craft of necromancy, a dangerous yet tempting domain, as it has the potential to offer eternal life as well as eternal damnation. Many of the wealthiest citizens of Venice study here. But as I'm sure you'll understand, I can name no names. I want to learn necromancy skills. I have comprehensive knowledge of the dark power of necromancy, and I am willing to share it with you. Looks good. Welcome to my store of occult items. I found another magic ring. Shall I improve your moonblade for you? 
for only 500 ducats. Yes, please. OK, if you'd like to hand over the moon blade and the ring. Here, take them. OK, this won't take long. Here's your new moon blade. Better than ever. Thanks. Welcome to my store of occult items. I have some pale hearts for you. How many pale hearts do you have for me? I have two pale hearts for you. Wonderful. I need four more. I'd like to see what you're selling. I have a wide variety of magic goods. Maybe I have something of use for you. You have no right to be here! Oh, hello! Good to see you. Now go!
Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Hello. That's good. Oh, hello. Welcome back to the Hooded Wings. Hmm. I don't I'm know. I'm here to do business. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, that looks good. See you later. Hello! Hmm. <laughs> 